Hi, welcome to another video. In this video I want to tell you a story about a young man who you'll find out what, but uh, there was once a young man called William and he wanted to become wise and learn a lot of new things and he asked uh, a wise teacher what what should I do? And a wise teacher said well the, the best thing you can do is to start reading books and the smile on the William's face disappeared and he said but I don't like reading books and I don't even know how to how to do that properly how to get the most out of the books and then teacher smiled and said well you have a perfect person in front of you who will help you about that William get, got his smile back and he said okay I'm all ears and then teacher got back into the house took some uh, books and a notebook and a pen and a set in front of William and started his speech. So the first thing is obviously reading and you should first start with the books that you like the most. So if you don't generally like reading books, you take the pick the book that you like the most. Pick a book that seems interesting to you. And then teacher said, let's assume now that you know which book you want to read you know what you like and then you can progress further. You start reading and the first step is to really read co comp completely and purely focused. So that you have 100% focus on what you're reading, that you don't have any distractions, that you're not thinking about anything else but what you're reading. So you should pick the time in the day when you're just reading. and. It can be anything from 10 to one, 10 minutes to one hour. Like the 20, 20 minutes is perfect uh, length for one session of reading. And then in that time, that 20 minutes, maybe even a little bit more. So let's, let's say 30 minutes. You just read and focus on that reading. You don't think about anything else. You don't think about any other activities you have, uh, don't think about time, you just read and uh, focus on that reading. And while you're reading, you will find things that you don't understand at first when you read them. And it's okay. Well, then you should read them again and if it's necessary, again. So read it, read it as many times as you need so you can uh, understand it properly. And only when you understand what you're reading, then you move on and don't uh, worry too much about uh, reading fast just focus on absorbing as much information as possible and William knocked, nodded his head uh, all the time and he smiled a bit and teacher continued on to the second step and then he said the second step is to uh, take a notebook and to write some notes about what you have read so no matter what you're reading you can always write a summary and some notes on what you have read right now and the first step is to uh, read uh, in the first step is to write notes uh, out of your head so don't look back to the book when you're done with reading but you close the book and then write some notes and what has st uh, be, uh, what has stuck in your head and uh, what you think is most important you write it down on the paper and then you see only after you're done with that all of that then you open a book again and then you go through the book to, through the text that you have read and then you find if there's something that you didn't remember and then you write it uh, additionally into that notebook into that those notes after you're done with taking notes you move on to the third step said teacher and then the third step is to make a mental map of the whole book so it's basically summary of the book you take another notebook uh, ideally blank and then you write the title in the main uh, circle and then you add three or four lines and depending on your per personal preferences so first line could be characteristics of the book second is like three top lessons and uh, the third is main lesson from that book and you can add fourth if you need and then you write, write the, all those things uh, going through your notes and through the whole book and that's how you make a mental map uh, and that's how you remember the most of from that book but after doing that uh, it's 
there's one step needed in order to remember and to get really the most out of the book and to really absorb that knowledge and that's the fourth step and that's actually talking uh, about that book and saying that to someone else so you can do it through form of a video or basically through conversation with someone else you just talk about that book and uh, you say uh, tell them what you have read and all those uh, main lessons and that's how you will uh, like get uh, the most out of the book so you will while talking about that you will literally uh, realize some big things that you would maybe didn't realize through reading and just taking notes and that's why uh, wise people uh, often say that the best way to learn something is to teach it to someone else and that's why you should talk about that uh, to someone else or to explain it and then the fifth step said teacher is to apply that because if you don't apply that knowledge it's literally un un non it's not useful and uh, then the main step uh, main thing into with applying that is to really take one daily action or weekly action habit and to apply it uh, and to really remind yourself to uh, to do that that action on a daily or weekly basis so you take that one lesson and you want to apply it in your life and then you do it regularly and that's how you will acquire the most out of out of that book so if you just take one main lesson and apply it from every book you will be so wise and so much more knowledgeable that you could wouldn't be able to recognize yourself in a year so that's mainly how you get the most out of the books and how you uh, can do and become uh, more knowledgeable and how you can get the most out of the books basically so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video